Well, good morning, everybody. This is Capri in Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn, here to show you how I leveled fishing from levels 20 through 50 on my alt. My entire route and all of the fine details will be in the description below, and I encourage you to copy and paste that for your own use. To obtain level 20, you can easily follow your fisherman quests, but what I did was I hung out in Middle Lanasia and uh, Western Lanasia. For some reason, those videos will not work for me today. Starting at level 20, I went to the Upper Hathova River at position 1819 in the South Shroud. This location has three fish I'm interested in. The Dark Sleeper and the Fairy Bass, which are used for repeatable fishing leaves, and they are turned into a quarry mill. I also wanted Black Eel, since they are used by culinarians for Black Eel Pie for their leaves. I will not be turning my leave items in, but I will, however, show you locations where you can get them. At level 25, I used Bass Ball, which can be purchased at Quarry Mill, out to Goblin Blood, which is still in the South Shroud, but at position 2721. The fish that were interested here, um, they're the Five Elm Pleco and the Dark Bass. Again, these are used for the repeatable fishing leaves. At level 30, I went out to North Blood Shore in Eastern Lanasia. Um, at position 3224, I used spoonworms to pick up what we are interested in here, which is black salt and sea pickle. These are also used for your repeatable fishing leaves, and they are turned in at Costa del Sol. I decided to boost my income during this time frame also by going to Costa del Sol in about position 3531 in eastern Lanasia at uh, nighttime. From 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Eorzea time, you can fish for full moon sardines, and these are actually very valuable fish. Starting at level 35, I chose two different locations that would give us fish for both our 35 to 40 leaves and our 40 to 45 leaves. The first location I would like to discuss is called the Nail. The Nail is found in Corthos, and it's at position 1621. During this time frame, I used honey worms, and it, it was able to get me giant bass and abalathian smelt. Giant bass is used for our 35 to 40 leaves, and abalathian smelt is used for our 40 to 45 leaves. And the second location I would like to discuss is called Danifin Pass. It is right around the corner from the nail, and it's at position thir 1325, and it's in that little um, cave in there. And what we're looking for here is Lamp Marimo, which is used for our 35 to 40 leaves, as well as Golden Loach, which, which is used for our 40 to 45 leaves. I spent this time bouncing around between the two, whatever I felt like. I spent most of my time at the nail because it has a higher income potential. To reach level 40, it actually took me 24 hours straight earth time. And I even took a nap and a lot of AFKs, so fishing went really fast for me. I could have sped that up by using my leaves or doing the quests as I go, but, you know, even my way, it, it took me 24 hours to get to level 40. At level 40, I started fishing for level 45 to 50 uh, leaf fish, which are the Ignis Snail and the Sludge Skipper. I chose Cerulean Field in Northern Thanalan, about position 1620. At level 45, I headed to the Sea of Clouds, which is in Corthos at about position 1314, and I used the bait called Hoverworm. I could have stayed at this location until level 50, but I decided to go through and get all the fish I needed for my job quests. And I also caught double of what I actually needed so I could sell the other half. Grabbing double of what I needed for all of my levels 1 through 45 quests got me up to level 47. After turning in all of my class quests, I went back out to North Blood Shore because this is where you catch the Maslea Marlin, which is for your level 50 quest, and I just kind of stuck around out here. You catch the Maslea Marlin by mooching a high-quality Harbor Herring to catch an Ogre Barracuda, and then if you get a high-quality Ogre Barracuda, you can double mooch that to catch the Maslea Marlin. And it took me about two hours to get from levels 47 to 50 out here. After obtaining level 50, I went back to town and I started listing my items. About that time I had difficulty getting to the computer since, you know, a couple games came out, plus, you know, another game was, our interest was reignited, so I had problems getting to the computer. But here, a couple weeks later, I got to relist like twice, and I pulled um, 74,000 gil off of my first retainer and 100 
111 gil off of my second retainer. I spent a, about 100,000 gil on baits, tackle, gear, teleports, and repairs while leveling. So that gave me, you know, about 85,000 gil as how much I earned just by leveling fishing. Alright, I would like to thank you for watching my video and please come back in a couple more weeks when I start showing you how to make gill with farming.